हेलो यूट्यूब दिस इज एपिसोड ट्वेल्थ ऑफ गेटिंग स्टार्टेड इन फ्रंट एंड वेब डेवलपमेंट एंड होपफुली द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वी क्रिएटेड द बेसिक स्केलेटन ऑफ आवर फूटर सेक्शन इन एच टी एम एल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टाइल दैट स्केलेटन ऑफ द फूटर सेक्शन ऑफ आवर टेम्पलेट सो लेट्स जम्प into our browser and see what we have got so as you can see here we have got the bare bones of this html markup we have got these links up here and then we have got these social icons then the copyright section here let's inspect our element and have a look at it so at the moment we have got this thing wrapped inside of our id called footer so you can see footer this id footer at the moment is 100% in width so it is going throughout this whole web page it is going throughout the whole uh, page as you can see up top here in the blue section when i have hovered my mouse over this footer div okay so i first thing i need to do is i want to give some fixed width to it i want to give it a width of 960 pixel and then center it so at the moment we don't have any any uh, styles showing right here uh, right here so at the moment if i give it a style for instance i give it a width w i d p h width of 960 pixel that will shrink it down to 960 pixel and it is being floated to the left now if i give it a margin of 0 pixel top bottom and auto on the left right that that will center this div so right now if i hover my mouse on this footer div you can see the blue section up top here is been shown to be centered and it gets centered to exact place where we want it to align up with the other content of the website so this is what we need to do so we will call up this div with id of footer inside of our styles.css so go inside of dreamweaver open up your styles.css go down and at the very bottom i'll call this div with the id of footer and then give it a width of 960 pixel and then i'll center it using my style attribute margin of 0 pixel top bottom and auto on left right okay so refresh our browser again you get it centered the next thing that we need to do is we need to get that background here but first first of all let's align these elements to be in line just like we have here in our mock up so let's first get this logo for ourselves so let's let me crop it from the mock up photoshop mock up here control d select let's zoom in a little bit and then i can crop it exactly the amount i need this much crop this image and then control shift alt and s to save for web and then print copy click save for web and go to our desktop where we have our root directory inside of images i'll call this image footer logo footer logo okay and then save control alt z to come back in our psd control d select to deselect this logo and uh, let's go inside of footer and inside of that footer we have got this footer top and inside of this footer top we'll be having 
an anchor tag and in that we have got this div called footer logo so I want to call this footer logo and I'll give I'll bring in that background logo for uh, in, inside of this div okay so I need to first call this footer div then inside of footer div I've got this div called footer top copy it and paste it here preceded with the hash symbol that we use to reference the IDs and then we have got inside of footer to top we have got anchor tag to be called in and then maybe just in the another line I'll call it just leave it for doing some style that we might need for anchor tag and after this anchor tag we have to call in our footer logo div okay there you go let's see I've named it correctly footer logo yeah let's see how much was the width of this footer logo so footer logo is 248 by 95 pixel so we've got to give it width of 248 pixel and height of 98 pixel I guess let me check it again no it's 95 but doesn't matter it would have come in a, in that much shouldn't be smaller it can be large but shouldn't be smaller so it's okay I'll give it 95 pixel and then I'll call in that image with the background attribute background style attribute and then inside of here I call this footer logo and I need to put no repeat so that it is not repeated for by default inside of this div that's all that we need to do for that and let me refresh it now and you can see we have got that footer logo in here so now another thing that I need to do is I need to float this footer logo to the left side so that the reddish, uh, reddish or the orange section that you see this side it is not appeared and the another div for the links can be floated right behind that okay so I'll give it a float of left you see what happens when I give it a float left my this logo is floated to the left and the link section that is the unordered list is being padded up with it just behind it okay so that is what we want so inside of style.css line number 88 I give this footer logo a float property of left that is it and then we come down here to style our unordered list so in the footer in the footer top we will call that unordered list for the links so ul so first thing we have to do to style our unordered list is to get rid of those dots that are there in that so to get rid of these dots we need to do the following thing I'll give the following style to this I'll say list style of none let's see what happens that gets me rid of those dots that are default for this unordered list and then I'll go down and call my Lee inside of this inside of this UL so after this I've got to call Lee then after that I've got to call a tags inside of that so to style our lease what we need to do is I want these lees to be in line with each other they should not be like that in the top-down fashion they should be in line just like we have got 
them here in our mockup okay so to do that inside of our lead tag I'll call this style attribute I'll say display in line block okay so refresh your browser after saving your document and you can see your list attributes list elements are already in the already in line with each other okay so now looking pretty much messed up here but we are going to style them as we move ahead so just another thing that I need to do is since we have floated these elements inside of our uh, footer top inside of our footer top we have floated this footer logo and we have floated the this link section for the menu so what I need to do is I need to call in the cleaner div which have got a style attribute of clear both applied to it so I'll call it div class cleaner and that will clean up the floated thing so that the anything below it is at its right position okay so that we are not messed up like we are we have got messed up here so these social icons follow us on, on these things will come right okay now if I refresh doesn't show happen to show me anything at the moment let's see what's wrong let's see where is the footer top yeah it looks like looks like footer top where have I given the cleaner oh this cleaner has not been applied that there was error in some typing by me so I, I just typed CLE but I need to type CLEA and ER cleaner so now you will have to look it again and there you are you have these things gone down here that is what we need to do okay so let us now style our another div let us uh, get these things in line as well these social icons so to do that we need to call this div footer bottom and inside of that social so let's go in the style.css and inside of footer div I've got to call this footer bottom div okay and then I'll copy this footer bottom div style here and then paste in down here inside of footer bottom we have got social div with the ID of social and then after social we have got label got to call this ID label and then let's copy this thing up to here paste it down here and then after the label we have got unordered list need to call that here in style and then after an order list we have got Lee's that needs to be called an order list Lee and then we have got A's to be called in here anchor tags to be called in here so similar thing that we did for the menu section up here I need to do same things for these thing down here okay so I will say list style of none that gets me rid of the dots default dots applied to these icons refresh you see they are gone now and afterwards to our lead tags I need to give this 
declare property of inline block that lines them up in line just like we have these here now I want it I want these links I want these social icons to be just after this follow us on div okay follow us on lo uh, label so to do that I need to flow again float this follow us on div and maybe give it a width first of all as it is having 100% width so I need to give it a width of width of say I'll give it a width of 150 I guess let's see how much that is that looks good to me and maybe I'll give it a width of 100 pixel 100 pixel looks good to me and then I'll float it okay F L O A T float left when I float it left see the these icons gets floated just behind it that is what we need so for this label section here I need to give it a width of width of 100 pixel and then float it to left that floats when I give this float left property to this label this helps me in getting these icons just behind it where I need it okay so let's see what we can do now let's float our an order list as well float left no no that's not what we want at the moment so that being done till here let's get the background up this background we need to be there so to go inside of your mockup and press alt key and then uh, right click on this logo and you will be taken to this logo layer on in the layers panel here and you can click the i button to toggle it off similarly click uh, or press alt key and uh, right click on the home and you will be taken to this text layer for the links in the layers panel and you can you can toggle it off similarly you can press alt key and right click on follow us section and toggle it off from the layers panel similar for the icons section when you click on icon section you will be taken when suppose i click on this face fb icon right click on fb icon by pressing alt key you will be taken to this layer on uh, layers panel where it says fb icon if you just click it to toggle it off you will be to toggling off this just this facebook icon so since i have created a folder called social icons in this layers panel this social icons is holding all of these icons so i can toggle it off all together from here okay now press alt key right click on this copyright section and toggle it off from the layers panel now you have got this hand tool little hand tool here you can toggle it, it off as well and zo zoom in a bit so we can have this background for the footer section and make sure you don't miss out the shadows as that is important to get the correct styling so I just select the 960 by 190 size and crop it down and then I'll press Control Alt Shift and S 
to save for web and then save it as footer bg in my images folder in the root directory then you can just turn on the layers that you had toggled off okay maybe I anyways I'll just cancel it and I'll say I'll not like to save it so I can again open it from where I have it on my okay so you are here back again okay so now we have uh, cropped our background for this footer div we can just call it in so let's go inside of our footer div here and I'll say background URL and there you have it footer bg dot jpg and no repeat for that and let's see if we have got the background for the footer and we have it so no, now the only thing we need to do is first of all we need to give some margin at the bottom so let's give it a margin bottom of 20 pixel see what happens there is something wrong maybe since I had floated these this label and everything else I need to give a cleaner property I had floated left this label and so this section has got the float applied to it so I need to give a div I div class of cleaner to it so that it cleans up the floats for me and let's refresh it again okay so we need to give height of 190 pixel as well to our footer div so as to get our background correctly in here so I need to apply height of 190 pixel to line number 86 which is calling the footer div I need to give it a height of height of 190 pixel that gets it in here so now let's go down here to the copyright section and let us align this text in the copyright uh, copyright div to the right okay so inside of our footer bottom we have got our ID of copy right okay then in the copyright after the copyright we have got that paragraph paragraph tag and to the paragraph tag I'll apply this font family that we have been using throughout this mockup of exo sans serif and let's see how much was the how much is the size size is 12 pixel and it has got color of this okay so font size size needs to be 12 pixel and color is this okay and align this text to I want to align this text to right so watch what happens this text gets styled just like we have it in the mockup here and it has been aligned to right next thing I want to do is 
I want to get this follow us aligned just like it is in here in the mockup. So to do th that, I'll first see how much should I give it the width. I would like to give it a width of 474 by 47. So to the social div, I'll give it a width of Four forty-seven pixel. That is how much it was there in the mockup. Four seventy-four pixel. It is four seventy-four pixel. Four seventy-four pixel. Okay. No, I don't want it to give. 474 pixel to the social just a second okay just let's go another route and give this social div a padding left of 200 pixel uh, not 200 pixel let's keep it increasing and it will eventually line up with the copyright on the right side here so I would say I will give it let's give it 450 padding left of 450 okay so on style.css 93 style.css 93 I want to copy this style of padding left 450 so now I want to line this paragraph tag so I'll give it a padding padding right of I'll give it padding right so it starts to line up with the follow us on the top so let's give it padding right of 25 pixel okay on line number 101 on style.css 101 not hundred and one okay here let's refresh it and you have it lined up so I want to style this follow us just like in the mock-up here so I'll see how much is this it is 16 pixel exo sensor if okay so just copy this style from here text style from here place it in the label section here and give the size of 16 pixel let's refresh our browser and we have its style there okay let's move ahead and start styling this footer top section now let us give some margin left of okay so let's give margin left of 12 pixel to our footer logo okay so that will shift this logo towards the right a bit so that our background is not hidden behind it this background line here starts to be visible so on style.css on line number 88 I'll give it a margin left of 12 pixel
or maybe a margin throughout of 12 pixel yeah that will be okay looks good to me so let's now style our link section here okay so our copyrights have shifted down we don't want that so to correct this we need to remove the margin on top and bottom from this footer logo here so I'll just say this has to be margin of just left 12 pixel and that will correct that thing for me so I'll just say margin left left on that here save it okay next thing I want to do is go inside of our an order list here and give it float left float left as well so style.css89 I go inside of style.css89 and give it float I'll call float left to it as well so now I might need to but let's first give it the styling let's first give it the font family and this style exactly just like in the mockup here so let's see it has got 16 pixel exo sans serif and the color is this so I can just go in here and copy the font family style from here and inside of my footer top ULDA I'll give it this font styling and maybe change this to 16 pixel sorry and then I'll say text transform property of uppercase that will make them to be in uppercase letters so here's what we get so I need to remove this underline that is by default on the anchor tags so uh, to remove that I need to give text text decoration of none I want text decoration of none now refresh it there you have it so next thing I want is I want the hover property to have this bluish coloration for our anchor tags here so here I will give it a color of this to anchor tags hover property anchor tags hover state okay so if you refresh you will see you get blue it turns to green when you hover your mouse over it okay So now next thing that we need to do is we need to give some spacing to these things to these links here so inside of your lead tags I can give it a margin right of 5 pixel that will start to give me some spaces here okay so let us first yeah that should be okay 
margin right of 16 pixel to our lead tags here refresh it and you have it here now another thing that I want to do is I want to place this links navigation just like we have it here in the mockup I want to bring it down a bit so that it lines up with the logo here okay so this unordered list to I can give it maybe margin top of 20 pixel let's increase it a bit more come down a bit more let's see how we look that looks good to me and I suppose that should be it margin top of 40 pixel yes copy this style and place it in line number 89 on style.css then refresh your browser and you have that style in there so that is all to style this footer section and we can give some finishing touches like if we want to change the opacity on this image section here when we hover our mouse on it we can do it so go inside of this sorry I need to call this image tag inside of the Lee 97 So after our anchor tag here on line number 98 I need to call the image tag and maybe give it a border of 0 pixel 0 pixel since by default on your internet explorer 8 and below you will have a default border so that will get it removed for you and to this image image hover property our state I'll give a pair city of 0 0.8 and watch what happens when I hover my mouse over these icons here it starts to change the opacity and gives you the feel of moving on it okay that looks good to me that's crazy and we have finally finished coding this whole mock-up and it has been a great tutorial series and we are looking really awesome on that now we can give the same styling for the hover state on these foot uh, header section icons here so I'll go to style.css 42 line number line number 42 on style.css and here I have got Lee attribute after that I'll say A and after that A I have got image tag okay sorry wrong browser So inside of this image we can give it a border of 0 pixel for the Internet Explorers and then to image property image images hover state I want to give it a pair city of 0 0.8 and watch what happens you get the opacity on these icons as well so that is it for these icons and you can go about styling this mockup any way you like so this was the main goal of this uh, tutorial series and I think we have done pretty much in it we have got everything styled up correctly we are lined up very good and 
looking pretty professional on this mock-up so goal finished we have accomplished our target of getting to know what exactly is needed to get pixel perfect on this mock-up so that is all from this tutorial series the main goal of this beginner series was to get you acquainted with the basics of HTML CSS in a project based approach. So you have the ability of how to move around your elements on your web page. I hope you now feel more powerful as you have the ability to control the look of your website according to your will. Have a great time. I'll see you in my next tutorial series. Bye-bye.